Namaste! Good afternoon to all of you. For this vlog, guys, I'm going to speak in English because I'm going to talk a lot of things about what happened to us this week. It's very terrifying, it's scary, it's stressful, and it's worrying what happened to us this week. But let's go back to what happened in the beginning. So at first, we went to Amritsa, right, for... Wait, let me see the date because I'm not really sure about the date. Oh, July 17, we went to Amritsa until July 19. And then, on July 19 at night, we went on a bus from Amritsa to Delhi. At that time, guys, that's the time where everything started getting stressful kind of stressful i mean i'm not really very stressed about it but it's kind of stressful also so at july 19 at night we were already on the bus going to delhi the bus took so long to arrive in delhi and like the train the train only took six hours but the bus took nine hours to arrive here in delhi because of everything right the traffic and everything at 11 pm that time PJ told me that he felt very cold, like he felt like he has a fever. So at that point of time, I gave him biogesic for his fever. At that time, guys, it's very hard to sleep. I was not really able to sleep a lot, like it's very bad sleep. And PJ, he was not able to sleep all night because he was talking to a passenger which was on the other side of our chair. He was being friendly with the woman and then they talked a lot and then all night he was not able to sleep. And then at 6 a.m. PJ told me that, oh no, not 6 a.m., like almost 6 a.m. when we were almost at the place where we need to come down from the bus. So at 6 a.m., almost 6 a.m., PJ told me that he feels like he really has a fever. So I give him another medicine. It's like 7 hours, I think since he took the last medicine so I give him another medicine and then when we arrived home we did not do anything else we just sleep directly when we arrived here and then in the afternoon when we woke up we woke up like 2 o'clock something I started cooking and doing household things I started unpacking and stuff and then I checked PJ's temperature it went to 100 wait let me see I will show it to you here the first temperature that I took 101.3 the first temperature that I took from him it's 101.3 and then PJ told me not to tell mom and dad that he has a fever because they might worry a lot but then since PJ has fever I need to be the one who should get the water downstairs we usually get a lot of water because we don't have RO here in our floor so we need to get it downstairs so I was the one who get it because PJ is sick and then mommy asked me if I'm okay and then I told her I am okay and she said that what about PJ I was very like hesitant to tell her that PJ is having fever but I told her because of course she needs to know also right so I told her that PJ has a fever and then she asked me how much is it and then I told her it's 101.3 and then that time guys everybody was panicking mom and dad came upstairs they check on PJ what happened why do you have fever and everything and when we were in Amritsar guys it's very hot there it's super super hot and then there was a time when we eat in this dhaba place and PJ ordered lassi and then he did not know that the lassi is cold and we were outside right so he drank the lassi but it took effect two days after when we were coming here right and then we give him dolo or crocin I think but we give him medicine for his fever and then after that after a few hours I checked his temperature again and it was higher than the last time guys wait I have like pictures of all of his temperature not everything but almost all of his temperature and then the second one is at 4 p.m. I'll put it here it goes to 102.3 his temperature I was panicking a lot that time guys I told mom and dad that PJ's temperature became too high and then they all went here and then they told PJ to come down I think that was the time that they told PJ to come down I have like like a little timeline here for 
everything that happened that day because I'm not really sure what happened because it's been like four days since PJ got super sick that time. So yeah, that time PJ went down and then he stayed there. We wiped him with wet cloth and we give him medicine and then he stayed there. He sleep there and me, I also stayed there with him because I'm also the one wiping him and taking care of him basically with the help of my in-laws and then there we stayed all afternoon downstairs and then at night mommy told pj that we should sleep downstairs so that they can monitor him but he said no he doesn't want he wants to sleep upstairs so we came here upstairs and then at midnight guys we were we started sleeping at 11 pm and then at midnight one hour after that pj told me that he felt very very cold so i check his temperature and his temperature went to 103 guys 103 point wait 103.1 and then i send that temperature to dad via whatsapp because he told me that i need to check his temperature and tell him so that he will also know and then when i sent it to dad dad hurriedly came up here and then he told me that he is very hot and I said yes and then he was kind of panicking he told me to get wet cloth and water and wipe him all over so that's what I did we went upstairs and I wiped PJ a lot he looks struggling a lot he looks very sick he looks very weak he looks like he's struggling a lot guys I, I feel very very worried for him I'm even scared and I was even crying that time guys because I like i feel very hurt seeing pj sick and struggling and everything so at that point of time only me and dad were in the room and trying to take care of him trying to take care of pj dad said that if his temperature will go up then we will go to the hospital if not then we will stay here and monitor pj's temperature because if it goes up then we will send him in the morning dad was trying to contact a lot of doctors to see if there will be doctors in hospitals in case we will go we will send pj to the hospital but it's very hard to find a doctor at night because they are not there in the hospital or something so we monitored pj's temperature and at night mommy woke up because everybody was like dad was talking a little loud and he was talking to pj about things and they were discussing something guys like, about medicines and everything and then mommy came up here and i really saw mommy that she's been crying i can really see that she's been crying and then for me i was also wiping pj and then dad also told me to got to get a bottle guard like an upo guys and dad asked me to cut it and then put it on his feet like wipe it on his feet guys so that's what i did dad said that it will help calm down his temperature so that it will go lower and something something like that it's like a different hack that i learned that time to lower the body temperature aside from wiping the body with wet cloth that's all we did dad and me and then mommy came and then mommy was very worried she looked very very sad and me also every time my in-laws go outside to do something i cry and i'm i just cannot i just cannot take looking at pj sick and struggling like he has a hard time breathing and i just can't explain the feeling guys i feel like it really hurts me a lot like i was really crying and then when when my in-laws come inside the room i stop crying because i don't want them to see me crying and then when pj opened his eyes also i stop crying because i don't want him to see that i'm very affected and getting stressed and everything which is in fact i was very stressed that time because that's the first time that i saw pj very very sick and i just can't take it like it's very hard for me to see him struggling like that guys and then at about 2 p.m or something onwards dad said that mommy and i should sleep because who will take care of pj if we are also sick we sleep mommy and me downstairs and it also took me a lot of time to sleep guys because I was very worried i was like should i go upstairs should i take over so that dad can sleep and i will take care of pj something like that but dad did not 
need any help he said that he will take care of pj at night and in the morning i will be the one who will take care of pj so in the in the morning guys the next day i woke up early that time and that time pj was already awake and dad was also awake and then pj is doing better this time he was able to talk well he was able to argue with dad and then i'm the one who was taking care of pj and oh the night before guys that time when PJ and I was staying downstairs, Dad bought a COVID nine. Oh, Dad bought a COVID nineteen test kit for PJ to try, and then we tried it, and it turns out negative. And then let's go back to July twenty one. I woke up early because I I don't feel like sleeping anymore, and Mommy is already awake that time. So by the time I woke up, I came upstairs and then dad told me that he gave this this medicines to PJ and that I should monitor his temperature and everything. And then dad went downstairs and sleep. And then I'm the one who was taking care of PJ all morning and afternoon. And in the afternoon, guys, that time, somebody came here to take PJ's swab test like sample to test if he has covid or something so that guy came in the afternoon and then he just went like it just happened very fast guys i did not take video of it because it happened very fast like it's like really quick swab test and then the guy who came here was from that place where we took my ultrasound like from my neighbor like the place where my neighbor works because she works in diagnostics so we asked her to send somebody here to take PJ's swab test so he was the one who took it and then at night PJ's results came and then it turns out that PJ has COVID on that day guys July 21 we found out that PJ has COVID and then dad went to a doctor to get some medicines for him he went to get prescription for PJ's COVID-19 and then at that time when dad came back, he bought all of the medicine, he bought coconut water, he bought a lot of fruits for PJ to eat and he told me instructions on what to do like PJ should gurgle and then he should do steam twice a day and the other medicines, PJ already know what to do with them but like basically dad told me what to do especially about his medicines and that he should drink a lot of fluids and everything and I should keep a bit distance from him but at that point of time guys I did not sleep in another room I sleep in, on the same bed as him I changed the bed sheets and then I sleep just beside him but I was in front of the aircon so that when I turn on the aircon he will not feel that cold and I only turn it on to 30 and then I turn it off at night it's like I was not able to sleep a lot that night guys because every time PJ moved I woke up also and I asked him what he needs what does he want what if he wants something and then like I was not really able to sleep at all I mean I was able to sleep but not a lot because every time PJ moves I also wake up like I'm very sensitive like every time I hear a little noise I get up and then I always ask him what's happening so it's like wow it's like very tiring guys and then I was very tired that time because I was the one doing everything I go down like 50 times in a day just to get the stuff that my in-laws want PJ to get something like that like it was a very very busy busy day guys and then yesterday I did all of the work again PJ is not very well he still has fever and then he told me when he was eating the food that I cooked he told me that he was not able to taste anything at all and I said, OMG, you really have COVID because you cannot taste anything. So yesterday, guys, PJ was still sick. He still has fever. But at night, his fever went down to 99. And then today, PJ no longer has fever. And he is there in the room. He is sleeping. And I'm just taking this video to tell you all of what happened and of what's happening. So I'm... This is actually the first time that I see PJ very sick in in like the whole time that we were in a relationship. This is the first time that PJ got really very sick. He said that it's the worst feeling that he has ever felt. He said it's 
he said his body is very painful and then he feel very tired and then now he's also coughing and then he also has fever and then he needed to skip work because he is sick right like on july 20 he told his work that he cannot work because he has a fever which is 102 that time and then on july 21 when he found out that he has covid he told his work that he has covid so he was not able to really work on like this week and pj was only able to work on monday night but on tuesday night he took a leave and the rest of it he told his work that he cannot work due to his sickness and he got covid 19 my gosh and then i did not really expect pj to have covid because <laughs> Because every time we go travel, we usually don't wear masks because people are also not wearing masks. We are like very, like we don't really care a lot when we go travel a lot. Like we just go and enjoy the moment and everything. We did not really think that he will have COVID or something. But this time, he really did get it and i can really see that he was really struggling and everything it's good thing that he's better now he's sleeping and me i'm just taking this video so i will have some update with you and i'm just speaking in english because this is gonna be long and i don't want to put any subtitles in this video guys <laughs> because it's gonna be very tiring to put the subtitles so i just have to speak in english and then even mommy is helping me with some of the chores here uh, last time I think July 21 July 21 I put my clothes downstairs and put some soap and then mommy turned on the washing machine in the morning and she was the one who put my clothes outside because it was my clothes because we washed PJ's clothes on November uh, oh no oh, on July 20 I washed PJ's clothes and my clothes mommy was the one who put it outside I was very shy about it I thought she would just put it in the in the bucket and let me be the one who put it outside but she was the one who put it outside and then she always asked me how's pj and then how am i feeling because i'm the one who's taking care of pj i'm not wearing mask guys when i'm taking care of pj i just stay away from him a little and then i don't know i'm not really scared of getting covid guys because what i'm more scared about is pj like my mind is all about taking care of him helping him feel better and give him everything he needs he needs to take all of his medicines and everything that he needs to take i was like not worried at all and i'm even sleeping with him on on the same bed right and he's coughing and everything and i'm like i don't even i'm not even scared that he's coughing i just tell him that if you cough you just use a towel and put it on on your face so it will the bacteria will just stick there or something the virus diva so it's very very hectic guys and my emotion is not even what i felt that time because that time i was not able to take a video at all i was very busy i was very busy giving him medicine i was very busy cooking i was very busy asking him what he needs and then i still need to go down to to get what whatever my in-laws wants to give to pj and when they have question i need to go down it's like I was not even able to do any exercise at all because I was thinking that oh OMG I'm having a lot of exercise I'm having a lot of walking in the house and going up and down in the stairs like 50 times in a day wow it was very tiring but I'm not stressed at all I'm just saying I'm not stressed I'm just trying my best that I'm just trying my best to take care of PJ and remind him of his medicines and the things that he needs to do it's just very wow this is like a very hectic and tiring and terrifying experience for us my gosh i told pj that since you have covid are you gonna stop going out are you gonna stop traveling or something and then he told me no why would i stop traveling like we were always stuck at home right so he said we need to travel sometimes also but like this time if we are going to travel this year also we will have more precaution about mask and everything we will just try our best to stay extra care especially if we travel again so yes guys that is the that is what happened to us this week it's like very tiring and on that time on 
I think on Wednesday, I'll just put the date type, guys, because I forgot. I think July 20, I posted a photo on YouTube saying that I might not be able to post any video on that week. But I was able to post a video on Thursday and on Friday I did not upload anything because I was very tired guys. The time that I have for myself, I just use it to watch anime and play Farmville. Like I don't have any energy to edit video because all of my attention is on PJ. Like what, what is happening to him? Is he getting better? I need to take his temperature every one hour or something. I need to check on him. What's happening to him? Is he feeling better? I was like what? I told myself guys like OMG so this is what my mother felt like when when we are sick or when somebody is sick in the house it's like what? the feeling is like it's very scary it's very scary guys oh my gosh but I was not stressed at all I was trying to be very strong because I'm the one who needs to take care of PJ. Mommy and dad cannot take care of him, especially he has COVID. No, my in-laws are old and they should not be exposed to PJ a lot. So I'm the one who is first-hand with PJ all the time and taking care of him. So I need to be strong. I need to be healthy. I need to do to do all these things for PJ. And while I'm taking care of PJ, my in-laws are also giving me a lot of fruits to eat and telling me and reminding me that I should also rest and I should also stay away from him a little I'm mostly on the chair while PJ is on the bed so it's like more than 6 feet of distance but yes guys uh, now PJ is sleeping thankfully he doesn't have fever anymore and he feels better but that is just what happened to us guys it's very my gosh I just cannot explain the feeling it's very difficult to explain and uh, yeah but i'm just happy that pj is better but of course he still has covid and he needs to stay home and me as well i need to stay home oh my gosh guys it's just very <sighs> my sweat it's like i'm becoming very strong i will also be strong because i need to be strong because i'm like we are in the same room right and he has covid what if i get it it will be very hard because i need to take care of pj also and it's like I'm the one who is doing all of the things so I really need to be strong like I should not be sick because I'm the one who is taking care of him that's that's just my concern and then for me I just always put alcohol and just stay away from him a little but not really a lot because every time I give medicine to him I need to be near him right or like if he asks me something and just I don't know I'm just trying my best to take some precautions like putting alcohol at least the bar and not touch my face a lot and not touch my mouth a lot and my nose and everything right hopefully I will get back to editing today and then tomorrow I will get back to my regular um, shooting videos but let's see what happens guys but I will just try my best because even though PJ is well he still needs me to do things for him and all of his medicines are still not done and he still needs to take a lot of fluids and a lot of coconut water and lemon water and whatever I still need to do a lot of things so it's not like even though PJ is a little bit better that does not mean that I don't have anything to do I still have a lot of things to do so oh my gosh guys I'm just happy that PJ is better now and I can have some time because Whew, last time it was just very hectic and very tiring at least now I feel a little at ease that PJ doesn't have what is it fever he's just coughing sometimes and he feels better which is really good so yes guys that's it for our video and for my update I'm just thankful that PJ is better and then I'm also better because I'm the one who's taking care of him I also told my parents about what happened to us and they are also very worried about PJ and me also that's it guys and I will see you tomorrow I will try and make video tomorrow and update you with what's happening and hopefully I will have energy and yeah more time to do the things that I need to do so yes guys that's it for our video thank you so much all for 
understand me because I was not really very consistent uploading videos this week but hopefully next week I will be consistent I will try my best to edit more and so so that's it guys thank you so much for watching thank you very much for understanding and let's pray that PJ will get better very soon and that you'll have no COVID anymore and yes that's it guys so thank you so much for watching and see you on the next video bye bye